I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exponentials and logarithms. Here we have very basic questions based on the concept of exponential logarithms. So let me call them level one questions. So we'll have multiple choice questions to answer. You can always uh, pause the video, answer the questions, and then look into my suggestions. If log to the base a of m is equals to n then what is true so the base is a right so what is true is m should be equal to a to the power of n right so remember the base remains same so here is base of a and there also should be base of a right so the option a is the right option B. Which of the following is true? So we have four statements. Which one of them is true? 5 square equals to 25. 5 is the base. Here the base is 10, right? This base is 10, so that is not correct. 2 to the power of minus 3 equals 0 0.125. Base is 2. Base is 2. And 0 0.125 is 1 over 8. And that is 1 minus 3. So this is correct. Here we have 9y equals to x. The base has been changed to x, not 9. So this is incorrect. 2 to the power of 0 means log to the base 2 of 1 equals to 0. So the correct statement here should have been log to the base 2 of 1 is equal to 0. That is incorrect. right? So I hope this basic concept is clear. Now with that in mind, let's take more multiple choice questions on this topic. Now we have, if log to the base half of 16 square root 8 is equal to x, then x is equal to what? So we need to find the value of x. So we could actually rewrite this as an exponential equation. So we get 16 square root of 8 is equal to half to the power of x, right? Half to the power of x. Now, this is 2 to the power of 4, that is 2 to the power of 3 square root. And here we have 2 to the power of minus 1 to the power of x. Now we can write this as 2 to the power of 4 plus, this is 3 over 2, equals to 2 to the power of minus x. Now this is 8 plus 3 is 11, so we get 2 to the power of 11 over 2, equals to 2 to the power of minus x. So that gives you what? So that implies that x is equal to minus 11 over 2. Option C is the correct option. Correct? If log to the base 4 of 28 minus log to the base 4 of 14 is equal to log to the base 4 of x, then x is what? Well, now we'll apply the logarithmic rules. Minus means division. So what we get here is log to the base 4 of 28 divided by 14, right? And that is equal to log to the base 4 of x. Now that goes two times, so we get log to the base 4 of 2 is equal to log to the base 4 of x. So clearly, x is equal to 2, right? So 2 is equal to x, so we get option B as the correct option, right? So that is how we actually solve these questions. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, it'll be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.